Do I know all 1025 of the current Pokemon? I think I do, but to prove it, I'm going to be testing myself on PokemonQuiz.com. If you end up being impressed by the end, then make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for future content. Alright, let's get started with the Kanto region. We got Bulbasaur. Uh, I believe it's spelled like this. Bulbasaur. There we go. Uh, Ivysaur. Venusaur. Uh, I do have to spell it exactly correct. There is a uh, spelling like helper on this site, but I decided to turn it off since I'm not really playing for time here. I'm just playing to get all of them. Uh, War Turtle. Blast Toys. Um, next one is Caterpie. I'll try and uh, breeze through uh, Gen 1 as fast as I can. But um, it's still 151 Pokemon, so it might take at least a solid 10 minutes. Uh, Kakuna. Beedrill. Um, I'm also trying to do this in order, based off the sprites. Um, I don't know if there is an option to actually show the, the sprites, they're shadowed out. But I think I can manage. Uh, Raticate. This is... That's Spiro. Only reason why I can get that is because the next one is Firo. And I, that one was a bit more easy to recognize. Ekans. Arbok. Pikachu. Raichu. Sand Shrew. What? Sand Shrew. There we go. Sand Slash. Very good, very good so far. This is uh, Nidoran. Female one is Nidorina. Nidorino. And Nido King. And Nido Queen. Okay, next one is... That's Clefairy. That's Clefable. Vulpix. Ninetales. Um, Jigglypuff. Wiggly Tough, Zubat, uh, Golbat, Oddish, that's Gloom, um, Violet Plume, spelling, spelling, Violet Plume, Paras, Parasect, Parasect, there we go, um, who is that? That's Venonat, there we go, Venomoth, um, that's, um, Diglett, the Trio, Meowth, oh, Mew, uh, I spelled Mew by accident, Meowth, Persian, Psyduck, Golduck, uh, Mankey, Primeape, um, that's Growlithe, Growlithe, Arcanine, that's, um, Poliwhirl, Poliwag is over there, I missed the sprite slightly, uh, Poliwrath, and that's Abra, Kadabra, Alakazam. Okay, good, 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 good so far. We're um two minutes in. We're already halfway down to Gen One. I'd say this is good progress. This is um Machop, Machamp, and Machoke. Bell Sprout, Weepin Bell, one of the most sus Pokemon. Uh, Victory Bell. It's spelled like, yeah, like that. Um, Tenta Cool. Tenta Cruel. He's a bit more cruel. Um, Geodude. Graveler. You know, since we're going to be here a while, you guys might as well uh, scroll down and click the like button and also subscribe. Uh, Ponita. Rapidash. I'll let you guys know when we're at Gen 2, at least. This is Slowbro. Slow. Bro, is there a W in there? There is. Um, Magnemite. Magneton. Mag. Magneton. Mag <laughs> Magneton. There we go. And while we're at it, let's just do Magnezone. Um, far fetched. Yes. Uh, Do Duo. Do Drio. Can't believe that guy's in Pokemon Unite. This is Seal. This is Dugong. Um, Grimer. Muck. Don't spell it backwards. That's Shelter. And also, this, in this entire list consists of the like the Alolan forms and stuff as well. So yeah, as you can see, like Mega Evos, Alola forms, they automatically get filled out when I type in the Gen 1. It helps with like the speed of the of the run, I guess. Although I'm not really going for speed that much. I'm just trying to go for all of them. Because I don't think there's a lot of people that can get all the Pokemon. You know what I mean? It's quite the accomplishment. Kangashkan. This one's a bit hard to spell, but I have seen it before. I believe it's like that, yes. Oh, that wasn't even King of King. Oh, that's um, Drowsy. They have similar looking sprites, so that means the next one is Hypno. 
Crabby with a K. Kingler, one of the most delicious looking Pokemon. It's Voltorb. That's Electrode. Who would you guys eat if you had to eat a Pokemon? I would 100% eat uh, Kingler. Literally just looks like an Alaskan Snow Crab. But let me know Let me know down in the comments who you would eat. Magikarp, we saw in that one episode in um, the very first series. Um, does not taste very good, apparently. Uh, Cubone, that's Marowak. Um, Hitmonlee, Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan, both are based off Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan, fun fact. Uh, although, I'm sure everyone knows that. Uh, who is that? That's a weird looking sprite. Oh, that's Tauros. That's not Tauros, huh? Oh, that's Lickitung. Yeah, these sprites kind of overlap with each other sometimes, so it makes it hard to understand what it is. That's Rhyhorn. That's Rhydon. Let's just do Rhyperior. Uh, Chansey. Tangela. Horsey. Seedra. That's Goldeen. Um, that's uh, Seeking. I'm seeking some females. Hit me up. Let's star you. Let's star me. That's Mr. Mime. Oh, all right, let's do Mr. Rhyme. Scyther. Um, while we're at it, let's do Scizor and Cleavor. I'm just kind of knocking down some evolutions for later later gens. What is that? I see Magmar and Electabuzz, but... That's, um... Oh, it's probably Jinx. I think in the Pokédex. Yeah, that was just the wild guess. But I low-key do remember the Gen 1 Pokédex. I was able to get that. Magikarp. Gyarados. That's a uh, Lapras. Um... Is that Shelter? No, 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 it's uh, Ditto. Eevee. Vaporeon. Flareon. Jolteon. Porygon. Porygon 2. Porygon 3. Uh, Z. <laughs> Amanite. Amastar. Underrated Pokemon. Kabuto. Kabutops. That's Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl is a very cool Pokemon card, and I actually own it. Snorlax, Articuno, Motres, Zabdos, Dratini, Dragonair, Dragonite, Knight, Mewtwo. Are we missing any? No, we are not. Okay, so that was Gen 1. We finished that under 7 minutes. And you know, Gen 1, you know, probably at least 60 to 70% of Pokey fans can name all of them. You know, it's not that hard. It's the original 151, iconic. But moving into Gen 2 here, some people might start falling off. Um, let's start with Chikorita, Bayleaf, Meganium. The starters are easy, everyone knows the starters. We got Totodile, Croconaw, some people might not get. Uh, Fraligator is weird spelling, it smells like that. Cyndaquil is definitely the most popular out of all of these, although Totodile is my personal favorite. That's uh, Quillava, that's a um, Typhlosion, we also got his Sweden form. Uh, Alright, Sentry, Fur, Hoot Hoot, Hoot Hoot, yes. Noctel, that's a Lediba, Ledian, who is low key popular, uh, Spinarak, Ariados, who's not really as popular, Crobat, very popular, Chinchou, pretty liked, but Lantern is pretty popular, um, Pichu, uh, these are all the babies, aren't they? That's Cleffa, that's Igly Buff, that's, um, should be Smoochum in there somewhere. Uh, it's one too many O's. Smoochum? No, it's not. That's, oh, you know what that is? That's Togepi. And Togetic. There we go. Natu, Zatu, Mareep, Flaffy, and Ampharos, my favorite Gen 2 Mon. That's Blossom, Meryl, and Azumarill. Let's also do Azurill. I'll write it. Um, Sudowoodo. And let's also do Bonsly. I'll write it. <laughs> Politoed. Um, Hoppip, Skip Loom, oh, Skip Loom, Jump Bluff. Alright, it's A Palm. Well, Alright, let's do Envy Palm. Who is that? Look, it looks like I'm a gear now. <laughs> so I'm gonna type it. I know it's not that. Um, oh, yeah, it's Sunkern. And that's some Flora. There we go. Yanma, Yanmega. Mmm. Oh, that's Wooper. And that's Quagsire. And that's Espeon, Umbreon, you know, while we're at it, Leafeon, Glaceon, Sylveon, okay, Murkrow, 
Ponch Crow, a Slow King, Miss Dravis, Miss Magius. That's unknown. I believe that's the F form. Well, not anymore. M form. N form. It's just going through all of them. Uh, Wabuff. How do you spell this? Wabuffet. Wabuffet. There we go. Um, giraffe rig. Fun fact about giraffe rig. It is spelled the same way backwards. Pineco. Same with its evolution. Frigoraph. Speaking of which, let's just do that now. Frig. No. For. Fariga. No, Fariga. Raph. No, 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 no. I'm doing something wrong here. Fariga Raph. There we go. Um, Foratris. Dunsparce. Blue balls into Da Dun Sparse. I'm surprised they didn't do a Da Dun Dun Sparse. <laughs> um, Gligar. Although it technically is a Da Dun Dun Sparse. It's just the rare form that you can find one out of hundred times. Um, who is that? Let's hit Montad. Right? No. But while we're at it, let's do Tyrog. Oh, I know what that is. The Snubble. And that's Grainbull. Quillfish, who got an evolution, and Hisui, that's Overquill. Nice. Um, Shuckle, Heracross. Sneasel, um, Teddy Ursa, Ursa Ring, and Ursa Luna later on. Nice. Slugma, Magcargo, Swinub, Piloswine, Mamoswine. Nope, Mamoswine. There we go. Corsola. Ah, oh, that's Remoraid. Remoraid, Octillery. Nice. Ah, oh, that's Delibird. How do you spell this? Belly bird. There we go. Um, Mantine. Mantike. Skarmory. That's Houndor. Houndoom. Now, there is an option for this website to literally just turn the sprites off. I genuinely don't think I'd be able to do that, because while I know all the Pokemon, and I memorize all their names and whatnot, I don't memorize, like... Like, if you didn't show me any pictures and told me to name all of them, I could not. That, that's just way too hard. Like, I can identify them by picture, by sprite. Um, if you gave me some descriptions, I'd probably get it. But if you told me to name all 1,025 Pokemon from memory, I could not do that. If there is anyone that could do that, then that's just, like, the ultimate Pokemaster. I would hats off to them. But until you show me someone like that, I, I'm, uh, for now, I'm the un 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 unofficial Pokemon Master. But we'll see. Uh, Raikou, Entei, Suicune. And by the way, I am very confident they can get all of these. Um, I know this video is, can I name all 1,025 Pokemon? I definitely can. But uh, let's just finish this video so I can prove that I can. That's Tarantar. Lugia, Ho-Oh. And to wrap up Gen 2, this is Celebi. Wait, I actually missed one. Who is that? Oh, that's uh, Fampy. Yeah, some of these sprites are so small that I just kind of skip them by accident. Okay, next one. <clears throat> Alright. I'm ready, I'm ready for Gen 3. Let's go. Trico. Grovile. That's uh, Sceptile. Torchic. Combusken. Blaziken. Mudkip, which is my personal favorite. That's Marsh Tomp. Swampert. I think the popular opinion is Mudkip is the favorite, but then once they all evolve, Blaziken, I think, kind of becomes the favorite. Let me know what you think in the comments. That's Poochiana, Mighty Mightyena. I don't really like these guys very much. I think compared to Houndoom, they're pretty boring. Uh, same with Zigzagoon and Linoon, but they got cooler versions in Gen 8, which is cool. Uh, Wurmple. Uh, now, Wurmple going to either evolve into Cascoon or Silcoon. They respectively evolve into Dustox or... Beauty Fly. Nice. Uh, Lotad, Lombre, and Ludicolo. Who is that? That's a C dot. Nuzleaf. Shiftry. That's a Taylo. Swello, who has a badass shiny. Wingle. Pel. Purr. There we go. Um, Ralts. Curlia. 
and Gardevoir. Sir, how do you spell Sir Skid? Sir Skid. Nice. Masquerain. Fun fact, Masquerain gets intimidate because it's apparently supposed to look scary. Um, don't know, don't know how that works, but I mean, I guess its wings kind of look like eyes, so maybe that's why. I don't know. Um, next is um, Breloom. Slaykoth. Bygaroth. That's a Slay King. Okay, Ninkata, super underrated Pokemon, but what's even more underrated, Ninjask and Shedinja. Shedinja is a bit more popular because of its uh, gimmick that it only has one HP, but... Oh no, I love Ninjask. I think it's a really cool Pokemon. That's um, Loudred. Axploud. Who is that? Oh, that's um, Makuhita and Hariyama. That's a nose pass. <laughs> Don't question how I got that one. I could tell by the nose a little bit. That and like, I was just thinking like, where does it, um, where does it show up in the Pokédex? I remember that was a bit earlier. Mawile. Um, that's Aeron, Laeron, and Agron. Metatite, which was a bit hard. The only reason why I knew that was because Metacham was right next to her. Uh, that's Electric and Manectric. Main Ectric. There we go. Plus one minor. Hot take. Um, one of two of the best Poke uh, Pikachu clones. But I think they're a little worse than um. What, what's what's his face? Um. Togemaru. I think Togemaru is the best. And then it'll be these two. And then I think it'll be Emoga. I'd say. Um, where were we? That's um. Who is that? Oh, that's Volby and Illumise, the two most forgettable Pokemon. Uh, Roselia, that's a uh, Gulpin and Swalot, Carvana and Sharpedo. Sharpedo. <coughs> Whalmer, Whale Lord. That's Numo and Camerupt. That's a uh, Torkoal, Spoink, Grumpig, Spinda, Trapinch, uh, Vibrava, Flygon. Okay, we're speeding through this. Cacnea, Cacturn, that's a uh, Swablu, Altaria, uh, Zangoose, and Seviper. Who do you like more, Zangoose or Seviper? I'm more of a Seviper fan. Um, Lunatone. Solrock, Barboach, Wish Cash, yeah, okay, there we go. Uh, Quarfish, love this Pokemon because A, it's badass, and two, it looks very tasty, kind of like Kingler. Uh, Crawdont looks even tastier. Can I, if I can even spell it, there we go. Crawdont, um, Bow Toy, I would eat a Crawdont, put some nice butter, put some uh, hot butter over it. Maybe put it in a taco shell. Mm, that'd be that'd be great. I can't, I can't help but feel hungry looking at some Pokemon. Something, especially the uh, the the Crawdont, Kingler types. Um, what's this? This is oh, this is, these are fossils. Lilip, Cradily, Anorith, Armaldo. That's a Feebas, the ugly Pokemon. That's Milotic, the beautiful Pokemon. Cast form. Someone told me that this guy is a Kind of looks like he has a nutsack, so they just absolutely ruined it for me. Uh, Kecleon. Shuppet. Benetti. Yep. Um, Duskull. That's, uh, Dusclops. And, um, the evolution is Dust Noir. That's in Gen 4. Yep. Tropius. Oh, that's, uh, Chimeco. Absol. Why not? Cause why not? Uh, Snowrunt, Glalie. But with a Dust Stone, you can get Frostlass. Um, that's oh, that's Feel. And Walrein's the last one. Celio is the middle one. Clam Pearl, Huntail, Gorbis, Relicanth. Those last four Pokemon are probably like the most forgettable Pokemon to ever exist. How do I know them? Uh, just from playing a lot of Who's That Pokemon, to be honest. 
If I didn't do that, I probably would not know them. Uh, love this. Bagon. Shellgon. Shellgon? Shellgon. 1L. And Salamence. Hot take. Out of all the pseudos, Salamence is like... It's alright. It's like maybe... I don't think it hits top 5 for me, to be honest. My top 5 would be... Mmm... It consists of a lot of newer ones, because I like, I like, I like, um, I like the new one, uh, Baxcalibur. I think he's really sick. I forget if, I forget if, um, Haxorus counts as a pseudo. I don't actually think it does. I think the pseudo of Gen 5 was Hydreigon, who is badass. That's definitely top 5. Um, what else, what else? Metagross has to be top 5. Same with, um, Tyron. Eh, yeah, I put Tyranitar up there. Um... And then Gen 6 had, um, what's his face? Gen 6 had Gudra. Gudra is not top 5 for me, but what is top 5 is, what's his face? Dragapult. Dragapult was like a top 3, actually. Dragapult is so sick. I've seen, I've seen a lot of people argue that newer Pokemon are falling off compared to the old ones. I think it's the complete opposite. I think newer Dexes have improved the way way more from like, like come on look at the Sinnoh decks it's this small and all of them are mostly just like evolutions of pre-existing Pokemon that's so lame like I love the games like respect to um what are they called I'm a, I'm a diamond pearl platinum but the dexes the decks the dexes for those games were just so mid but I guess we're about to do them right now I should be pretty easy. These are literally all just evolutions of pre-existing Pokemon, which is why like half of them I already did already because I was doing them earlier with the other Pokemon. Primplup. But as I was saying, um, newer Pokemon like Dragapult. Um, I can't, I'm not gonna name any off the top of my head, but I feel like newer Dexes are so much better than old Dexes. So anyone who says who anyone who says otherwise, I'm gonna have to disagree with you there. Uh, Star Raptor. Uh, Pachirisu's in here somewhere. Let's do that now. Pachirisu. Pachirisu. Oh, that's Bidoof. That's Babarel. Babarel. There we go. Krikatan. Krikatoon. That's um, Luxray, Luxio, Shinx. Badoo. Roserade. Cranidos. Rampardos, who has, I, th I think, one of the highest attack stats for a non-legendary Pokemon. It's funny that he does, but he's not anywhere close to being a meta Pokemon. Um, Burmy. There's a YouTube video somewhere called, like, the Rampardos, like, Dilemma or something. I recommend you watch that. It's a very good video. Uh, Wormadam. That's Motham. Combi. Wombi. Uh, Vespaquim. That's Buizel. And that's, a uh, Floatzel. Okay, hold on. Time check. We're on 23 minutes, and we're already in Gen 4. I think I can actually finish this entire challenge by under an hour. Like, because, I think that's kind of my goal. Because even though I know all the Pokemon, it takes time typing. It takes time, you know, like, um, also spelling it right. So there is, like... A lot of time involved, even if you know the Pokemon. I think if I can get at least under an hour, I'd be pretty proud of myself. Um, Driftbloom, Baneri. I'm not like going super fast either. I'm kind of bantering, you know, making some good commentary as I'm going. So I'm not like fully locked in. If I was, I think I could at least maybe finish the entire thing by 40 minutes. I, th I think anything faster than that is just kind of God status. What is that? That's Chingling. Then that's Skunky, or sorry, Stunky, and Skunk Tank. Skunk Hank, Skunk Tank, Stunk. No, I know it's like Skunk Tank or s some weird shit. Stunt, Stunt Tank, Stun Tank, Skun Tank. Bronzor, Bronzong, ha. and in the anime, in the Gen Four anime, and like so on. All the villains always have those two Pokemon. I always see them as the the villain Pokemon now. Oh, it's always the Psychic Mon. The weird looking Psychic Mons. It's not cool, yo. 
And Spiritomb. I mean, well, that guy, to be fair, looks like a complete villain, so I mean, that's a bit re more reasonable. That's a Hapini. Gibble. Gabi. Oh my god, wait, I was literally talking about pseudos earlier, and my favorite pseudo didn't come to mind, Garchomp. If Garchomp is not your favorite pseudo, then you don't have the you don't have the best pseudo as your favorite. I, I'm I'm gonna be real here. Not only has he been like the best pseudo competitively for like so long. Actually, is that true? I think that's pretty true. Garchomp. I mean, Tyranitar. I guess you can make a you can make an argument. But I think Garchomp has consistently been way better. Um. But enough rambling. Uh, who is that next to Garchomp? That sprite is so small, I, I can't tell at all. Um, I'm about to zoom in a bit later for that. Um, Riolu? Lucario? That's a uh, Hippo Patas. Hip Powdon. That's a uh, Skorupi. Or it's with, it's with a K. Skorupi. Uh, Drapion. That's a Krogunk. Toxicroak. Carnivine. Uh, Finion. Luminion. Two of the most forgettable Pokemon in existence. Who remembers Finion and Luminion? I do, apparently, but... I mean, I'm a, I'm a Pokemon master, so I kind of have to... Uh, Obama Snow, Weavile, that's a Licky Licky, Tangrove, Electivire, Electivire, there we go, and Magmortar, that's um, Togekiss, nice, uh, Gliscor, I love Gliscor, Glade, Probopass, Rotom, Uxie, Azelf, uh, Mesprit, the Alga, that's Palkia, Heatran, Reggie Gigas, Gigas, uh, Giratina, Cresselia, Fion, Manaphy, Darkrai, Dark, oh, Darkrai, there we go, Shaman, and Arceus. Okay, that's all of the Gen 4 mods, except for this mystery one, mystery one. Like, might have to zoom in for. Um... Let me think. This gen is mostly final evolutions of pre-existing mods, but we did all those. And this sprite looks a little too small. To be something like that, so maybe oh, it's a pre Evo of a pre existing mod, maybe Bonsley, my Mime Jr., Hapini, Chingling. Oh, oh, I actually got that. It was Munchlax. Only reason why I got that was because I was thinking of um, any pre Evos I could have potentially missed, and then I remembered. Um, Munchlax had to be Gen 4, so yeah, so Munchlax, there we go. Um, so that's every Gen 4, Gen 3, Gen 2, and Gen 1 so far. In less than 30 minutes, I'd say that's pretty impressive. But this isn't just the uh, Gens 1 through 4 challenge, this is um, every, all 1025. So let's uh, advance to Unova here. This is Victini, Snivy, Servine, Superior. And if you've stuck along, if you've stuck around this long, then I thank you. Um, this journey has been pretty tiring so far, to be honest. It's low-key um, starting to uh, tire my brain out a little bit, but I believe I can finish the channels. A uh, chan challenge, so I'm gonna finish it. Um, Pat Rat. That's a Watchog. Little Pup. Earlier. Stoutland. Okay. Um, Lipard. The pre-evolution is Purloin. Yep. Panpour. Pansage. Panseer. Simisage. Simipore. Simiseer. 
yeah those nine pokemon are some of the or six pokemon are some of the most hated um designs for well i mean i think the last evolutions of the monkeys because they just look so ridiculous <laughs> Um, they just kind of look really goofy, and, and a lot of people don't like her designs. Um, I can see where they're coming from. Um, I don't really hate them that much. Like, I'm, I'm, see I'm seeing a lot of, like, worst designs that ever exist. I don't think they're that bad, but they certainly can be a lot better, that is true. Um, and low-key, they could have just been a lot better if they didn't have evolutions. Like, the pre-evos look pretty cute, right? Like, um, in the anime, um, Silas had that pan sage. Yeah, like, that's pretty cute. I, I rock with that, yeah. He was a reoccurring character, too. But, but he evolved. <laughs> um, speaking of evolutions, Gigalith is awesome. G Gigalith is probably, like, one of my favorite, um, gener like, rock, generation rock Pokemon. There's Golem, um, the, actually, Usually they try and add a rock Pokemon for every gen. Oh, I guess like Colossal. They always try and add like one, like three lion rock Pokemon. Gigalith is my favorite out of all of them for sure. Um, Drober, Excadrill, who is so good competitively. I don't know. Tim Burr, that's Girder, and Conkledor. Nice. Um, Timple. How Patoad, who I weirdly have a plushie for How Patoad. I didn't even like buy this or anything. I was at um, where was I? I was at TwitchCon, and I went up to like the, I went up to the venue for like Pokemon, like Pokemon related like streamers, like content creators, whatnot. I was in there, um, and they were like randomly doing like trivia questions, and obviously you know I destroyed all of them, and um, it was like they get, they give a plushie for every person who got a question right. But, but it was only like maximum one, hold on, let me get this for a seismic toad. It was only maximum one per, um, per person. But I kept on getting all the questions right, but every time I'd get the question right, I'd get the plushie and I'd just give it to someone. So I would just keep answering the questions until I got a uh, plushie I liked. Um, unfortunately I could not find a pu plushie I liked, so I actually ended up just sticking to, uh, Palpito. Um, th there were some cool, cool ones though, like, there was like a crocodile one. That I wanted, but unfortunately, someone else got the question right before I did. It was a good time, though. Um, I'll probably revisit TwitchCon sometime this year. Anyway, this is Scolipede. That's Contini. That's a Whimsicott. I've not been uh, I've been I've been like silently getting all of these as I've been uh, monologuing. Um, Petalil. That's um, Lilligant. That's Basculin. Yeah, it's Basculin, Sandile, Croc, a rock. And speaking of Crocodile, here he is, uh, Crocodile. It was a really awesome Crocodile plush that I wanted so bad, but unfortunately I could not. Um, Darumaka, Darmanitan, Arachthus. That's um, Dwebble. Dwebble, Crustle, Scraggy, Scrafty, uh, Sigilyph. Okay, I'll try and like go a bit fast because I feel like I can actually get all 1,025 in under um, an hour if I just lock in. Kafa Grigus, nice. Kara Costa, let me. <clears throat> I had a loogie in my mouth. A bit disgusting, but. Tis being human. Uh, Archaeops. That's uh, Trubbish, the trash Pokemon. Garbodor, the more trash Pokemon. Garbodor. Ah, it's with two O's. Okay. Zora. Zorark. Awesome Pokemon. That's Minchino, who I think is very underrated. I think this Pokemon's very cute. Chinchino, unfortunately, kind of falls off. It looks a bit strange to me. Um, oh, these ones are hard. This is Gafita. Gafarita. And... Gafetel. There we go. Solosis, Duosion. And, okay, here comes, like, the most hard to spell Pokemon. This is Rayuniclus. Um, it's spelled Rayuniclus. Let's go. 
Ducklet. Uh, Swana. That's a Vanillite. I was talking about um, delicious looking Pokemon earlier. I mean, I think Vanillite is like the perfect example of a Pokemon that makes you hungry. It's literally just ice cream that evolves into an ice cream cone that evolves into an, a, a deluxe ice cream cone. What was Pokemon thinking when they made that design? I don't fucking know. I guess they were just hungry for some ice cream. Uh, Sawsbuck, who I think is actually very underrated. Unfortunately, he's just kind of weak. So not, not people don't really care about him, but I, I love the design of Sawsbuck. He's a cool looking deer. Um, Stantler was just kind of weird as our first deer, so we, we had to get another one. Uh, a Scavalier. Next one is Shelmet. No, it's not. What? Okay, but the evolution is a Selgor. I thought they'd be right next to each other, but I guess not. Uh, Fungus. Among Us. Frillish. Jellicent. This one's a bit hard. This is Alo... Alolo Mola. Alo... Alo Mo... Lala. Alo Mo Lala. Alo Mo Lola. Uh-oh. Alo Malola. Shit. Okay. I might have to look up the spelling on this one. No. No, I can do it. I can do it. Alo Mo La Lo. Alo <laughs> Alo Malola. Alo Malala. This looks so right, but apparently it's not right. Maybe there's an A and an O. Alo lo mo alo la mola. Really? Maybe like this? Or maybe there's an A here with an O here. I feel like I have to look this one up. Ah, do I? This I, I think I will. Guys, I know it's alo lo mola la la, but the spelling is just a little too hard for me. Okay, not even Google knows what it is. It's Alo... <laughs> I've even looked this up before. Just because the spelling is so impossible to memorize. Oh, it's two M's. Alo Momola. Okay, got it. There we go. Okay. I'll kind of count that as a semi. I got it. But to be fair, I knew what it was. It's just the spelling is a bit impossible. And I don't have um, spelling helper on. Otherwise, I would have got it. Uh, Pharaseed. Ferrothorn. Let's, that took up some time, so let's just try and rush through the rest of these. Clink, clang, clink, clang. Tynamo. Electrike. That one's a bit forgettable, but on the Pokemon Master. Electros. Um, Elgium. Behem. Behem. This is another hard one. Behem. There we go. Litwick, Lampent, uh, Chandelure, that's, um, Axew, Fracture, Haxorus, and I'm pretty sure Haxorus is not a pseudo, despite how, uh, pseudo-y he looks, he is not a pseudo to my knowledge, actually, let's look it up, is Haxorus a pseudo? It's not, yep. What I thought. Okay, uh, Baratic. Cryogonal. Stunfisk. Who had a Galarian form that was actually kind of humorous. Um, that's Mianfu. Mian Xiao. Okay, this is, I think, one of the most overhated and underrated Pokemon. Drudigan. People hate it so much because it just looks a little goofy. It has a, looks like it has a big red face with like just a weird blue body and like the wings look weird blah 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 blah, blah he weird head shape I love it I don't have any objective reasons to why it's a good design but what's wrong with my lights anyway I don't have any objective reasons to why Jardigan is a good design I just love it alright comment down below uh, like the video if you like Jardigan honestly we uh, Jardigan fans gotta rise stand up uh, Ponyard Bisharp Buffalant, Buffalant, that's, um, uh, Rufflet, Braviary, 
Bullaby, um, Mandibuzz, there we go, Heatmore, Durant, that's, uh, Dano, that's, um, what's his face, um, uh, Zwilus. and Hydreigon, Larvesta, Volcarona, Cobalion, um, Vol Terrakion, Verizion, Okay, now Tornadus. Is it gonna make me write Therion? I think it actually is going to. Oh no, it's not, it's not. Okay, okay, good. Reshiram, Zekrom, Landorus, uh, Kiram, Kiram, that's a uh, Keldeo, Meloetta, and Genesect. All right, so that's Unova done, with Gens one through five done in under 40 minutes. I remember we finished, um, Gens 1 through 4 in 30 minutes, so this gen took 10 minutes, so it's not bad, it's not bad. I did kind of slow down when I got to uh, Alamomomola, <laughs> but I mean, it is what it is. I I'm sure even the most top-tier Pokemon Master couldn't memorize the full spelling of that name. But, okay, moving on to Kalos is a pretty short deck, so I should be able to breeze through this. This is Chespin, um, Quilladin, Chestnut. Now, Kalos, Kalos, X and Y games were low-key top three top two for me a lot of people hate these games but i low-key fucked with them i thought there were some pretty good games for starters froki frogadier and greninja some of the best if not the best starter designs in my opinion it's not really like an unpopular opinion or anything but they carried th this, like i just love this generation uh love the games anyway i love the story was kind of yeah although the story with like um the guy of his flow out flow out was pretty sad um, I like the area, I love like Lumio City, I love like skating around the Lumio City, it's also the first game to come out on 3DS, right? So that was pretty fun. I was like really hype. Um, but as much as I love this generation, the decks is so garbage. Like, worse than Gen 4 garbage, I'd argue. Like, why was Gen 4 bad? It was because it, all it had was just like... Uh, like final evolutions to like already existing Pokemon, so it's a bit boring. But this generation doesn't have that problem. But the new Pokemon are just flat out just like <laughs> so boring. Like Florges, okay. A uh, Skidoo, sure. Go Go, pretty boring. Pancham is cool. I like Pancham. Pangoro is awesome because he's like um he looks like Joe Chirakujo. Fur Fro, we're back to boring. Um, okay, Esper is all right. Esper is actually pretty cute. Meowstick is cool. I like the um, the male version. Uh, actually, no, the female version is the white one, right? I like that one. Um, oh, actually, yeah, the Hone Edge is cool. Um, Double Eight is cool. Age of Slash. Okay, yeah, those are good designs. But unfortunately, the majority of this decks is pretty just. Well, first of all, the decks is pretty small. Like, look how small Kalos is compared to uh, Gen Five. It's literally like half the size. Hold on, what is this Pokemon? It's low being covered by Aurora, so let me just get that out of the way first. Is there another sprite next to Hone Edge? I don't think there is, right? Okay, I think we're chilling. Okay. Next one is Spritzy, also just super boring. Aromatisse. Like, this generation, um, they introduced, like, fairy Pokemon, right? So they got Aromatisse, Spritzy, Swirlix, Slurpuff, you know, to, like, introduce the type. And I, was, I don't think these Pokemon did a very good job. <laughs> introducing the type, they're kind of boring and forgettable. Um, Sylveon did a really good job though, Sylveon is here. Um, probably one of the most hype uh, things was Sylveon releasing a new evolution. And also to represent a new type, it was pretty fire. But outside of Sylveon, like the other fairy types, just were just so forgettable. Um, Barbarical. These mods are low-key underappreciated, I, I think they're pretty cool. The hands. Um, they're supposed to be like barnacles that grew hands. I think that's a pretty interesting concept. Screlp is alright. Dragology is actually pretty cool. Um, Clauncher is actually pretty cool. Cloitzer is actually like one of my favorite Pokemon. Oh, you know, maybe I actually don't hate this gen as much as I thought. I like Cloitzer. I like Greninja, Aegislash. But that's like three Pokemon. <laughs> I get yeah, out of like, uh, out of like, what, like 60 Pokemon? Helioptile. Oh, Heliolus is actually pretty cool. I like Heliolus. 
The shiny is pretty cool. Um, this is Tyrant. Tyrantrum. It is also a cool mod. Wait, maybe I do like this gym. Amura. 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 Hmm? Isn't it like this? I know your name is Amura. Come on. Don't waste my time here. Amura. Amura. It's not fair. <laughs> I'm looking it up. I'm sorry, guys. No. That's not what I'm looking for, actually. I'm looking at the... It's with an A. Whatever. I think that's not as bad as... It's, it's like the same case as the Amalala, the one thing. Like, I know the Pokemon... Just the spelling is so annoying, and I don't want to use spell checker because that's, because that's you know I, I don't need it. But I guess I did it. I, did, I, did, I guess I did need it <laughs> for those two. For those two, I promise it won't happen again, guys. Um, Gudra, uh, this is Klefki, Phantom, who's also cool. Trevenant, who's also cool. You know what? I think I do like. I, I take it back what I said. This deck is cool. It's just so small compared to the other ones that was the main problem because they the games reuse so many old pokemon because of how small this deck is if they just added as many pokemon as there was in gen 5 into this gen this would have been such a good decks but like punkaboo is pretty cool too and gorgeist i like how you could find like lots of different sizes of gorgeist that was a pretty cool gimmick um oh is this bergmite avalug wait those are literally like some of my favorite pokemon yeah, no, no, this next is goaded, actually. I take back what I said. Like, even as, like, Evolto is a pretty fire legendary. Zygarde. Diancie's cool. Mega Diancie's really cool. Hoopa's pretty cool. Volcanion is actually awesome. So, yeah. I think I take back what I said. It is a cool, it is a cool dex. There's just a lot of weird ones. Like, th these four po fairy Pokemon were such a bad um, addition for new fairy type Pokemon. A fur fro is pretty forgettable. The, if the, the size of the decks was bigger, it would definitely be up there as one of my favorites, but unfortunately, it's small decks. Okay, moving on to Alola. As you can see, half of them are already like, filled out because of the Alolan forms. Um, Rowlet. Dartrix. By the way, um, Kalos only took 7 minutes. Uh, like, we're on 47. Uh, earlier, we stopped on 40 on Unova. Let's see how long this takes. Alola is also not that big of a gen, uh, not big of a, a dex. It's like a little smaller than Un um, Unova, but a little bigger than Kalos. So this might take like maybe, maybe like eight, nine minutes, I'd say. If I go quickly, I can probably finish it fast though. Poplio, um, Primarina, Picky Pack, Trumbeak, that's a uh, two cannon. That's a Young Goose. That's Gumshoes. That's a Grubbin Charge Bug. Who's a Fire Shiny. Vikeval, who is awesome. By the way, Alola has, is one of my favorite decks, for sure. Like, Vikeval is awesome. Incineroar, Decidueye, Primarine are all great, a great starter Pokemon. Crabominable is pretty funny. Um, Oricorio, who recently just got low-key into meta because of um terrestrialization and also it got quiver dance so oracorio's all forms of oracorio are actually kind of a menace right now which is really funny um because it used to be super weak um because it's rock rough lichen rock who i absolutely love Mi especially the midday form or the what is it called dust form the orange one is really cool um, this is Wishy Washy, who is also a fantastic design. It starts off as like a really small, shrimpy looking thing, but then in terms of that giant, yeah, like the schooling form, fantastic design. Marini is cool. Toxapex was cool until it started getting abused and competitive, and now hate it. Hate it. This is Mudbray. Mud's Dale, who can also be pretty annoying if you have stamina on it. You can stack up defenses. Um, Dupiter. Araquanid, which I think is also like a pretty top 10 design. Um, Fomantis is pretty cute. Lorantis is pretty sick. Morlo. 
uh, Shy Nautic. Salandit is, I think, a super fire design. I think Salandit's a bit slept on. I, I, I love how, like, it's perfect. It's like, it's like the perfect evil lizard, cunning lizard. But when it evolves, I, I'm sad that they went, like, the only females can evolve, like, direction. Like, I feel like they should have made a male version, too. Um, that can also evolve into, like, a different Pokemon. I feel like that would have been cool. But... I think I'm just complaining because I, anytime I would find a shiny slam, slam it would be um, male. You know, it just really pissed me off. I remember those. I remember those memories. Those painful memories. Uh, Zarina. Uh, Confe. Kind of a weird... It's literally just a sentient um, Luau. That's a... What is that? Is that a Ranguru? It is. Passimian. The two monkeys. That's a Wimpod. And Glissopod. Glissopod is my favorite Pokemon, fun fact. Um, I think he's super cool. He introduced the first impression, and like, he has the, one of the coolest shinies. Like, come on now. That's so sick. Like, the white and red. Pokemon cooked with this design and cooked with a shiny. The best Pokemon by far. There's no debate. Um, who is that? I can't really see very well. Uh, I see Pukumuku over there. I need to charge my headset. Hold up. <clears throat> okay, so far we're th four minutes into Gen 7, and we're, like, Loki halfway done. That's pretty good. Okay, who is that? I can barely tell. Oh, okay, I know it is. Sandy Gast and Palo San. There we go. Um, oh, type no. Type no. So Valley. I actually really like those Pokemon. Minior. I like that Sevalia kind of like a similar gimmick to Arceus where it could like be any type. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, is that called Mala? Damn, I'm good. Uh, Toga de Maru. That's a Turtonator. How do you spell this though? A Turtonator. There we go. Um, Mimikyu is a top tier design as well. Like, so many of the designs in this game, in this gen, were so gas. They were cooking. They were not cooking with Bruxish, though. That Pokemon is disgusting. Drampa had some potential, but didn't get an evolution. Didn't have a pre evolution or anything. It was. I don't know. I feel like they could have did so much more Drampa. Like, this thing looks sick. Imagine if it evolved, or if it had good stats. Look at the stats on this guy. <sighs> so bad. For, like, yeah, it has a great special attack stat. It's too slow, though. It has whatever passives as well. Unfortunate. Um, that's um, Delmice, who I actually really like. It has a really cool shiny. Um, that's Jangmo-O. Hakamo-O. And that's a como -O, who I think is a very underrated um, pseudo. He's not top 5, for sure, but he's pretty cool. Tapu Koko, Tapu Fini, Tapu... Lele, Tapu, Bulu. Nice. Cosmog, Cosmoum. Fun fact, Cosmoum is the heaviest Pokemon, despite being one of the smallest. I believe it's like... Yeah, it's 2,000 pounds. Holy crap. Um, Lunatone. It's like 2,000... Uh, did I just say Lunatone? That's freaking, um... That's Lunala. <laughs> Lunala. Uh, Nihilego. Nice. Um, Buzzwool. Feramosa. That's a uh, Zerkatry. It's a pun off the word circuitry. If you didn't know that. That's um, Celestela. Cartana. Guzzlord. Uh, Necrozma. Magirna. Nope. Wait, I already did my gear now. Um, Mars Shadow. Poipo. Poipo. Naga Natal. Stack Attacka. Stack Attacka. There we go. Blasef. Blasephalon. It's a hard one to spell. Blasephalon. Is there an A in here? There. Okay, got it. Azera uh, Aura. Okay, nice. That's Gen 7 done. We started at 47. We ended on 54. So that was about 7 minutes. Not bad. That's actually around what I predicted. Melton and Melmetal. They were added to 
Pokemon, I believe they were added to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, right? So that's why they're in the middle there, and now's Galar region. Oh, no, 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 they were added into... Yeah, they were added into Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Yeah, and then now, and then Sword and Shield got re released. Okay, so Sword and Shield decks, I think is actually pretty good. A lot of people hate on uh, Sword and Shield for being like pretty boring games, mid story, and also like a bad decks. Uh, the story was definitely mid. Um, I thought the games were actually pretty fun. I like the introduction of the wild area. Um, I thought the, the the gym battles were pretty good. I like like the DLC parts and whatnot. And I think the the decks is good. Like um, okay, Inteleon. Okay, the starters aren't very good. I will be honest. Like Inteleon, Rillaboom are kind of whatever. Cinderace is cool though. Um, but I think the, the, the decks is fine. Like, we got Peter Griffin Squirrel. We got, um, Corviknight, who is, like, badass. Wait, how do you spell Corviknight? Corviknight. Cor the Knight. Yeah, we got Corviknight, who's, like, one of the, the coolest route birds to ever exist. Corvus Squire is the middle one. Blipbug does look kind of uh, special, but, um, Dotler and Orbit are pretty cool. Orbit is actually a sick, um bug design like it's always with route bug designs they're so boring like for example wormpool into beautified dust ox boring spinnerag ariado is boring Beedro butterfly boring but then you know with, with this gen we got um orbital which i thought was pretty cool um this is nicket thievul i remember being super hyped for those guys but now that now they're just kind of forgettable to be honest um this is um Gossifleur and Eldegoss. Yep. Um, that's Wooloo, who I still love to this day. Double. Choodle. And Dreadnought. These guys show up so often in Gen 9 in um, Scarlet and Violet. Like in the wild area. Or like in the map on, in general. Like anywhere near water, you always see these guys. Um, I've kind of like, in my mind, I've kind of just linked them to Gen 9. But I, I low-key forgot they're <laughs> Gen 8 Pokemon. Um... This is Yamper, who I thought was pretty cool until it evolved, and it just looks kind of weird to me. Um, Boltund. This is um, this is um, uh, Roly Coley and Carcol and Cole Lasso. Yep. Applin, Flapple, Appleton, who eventually evolved into Diplin. And Hydra Apple. In the recent Pokemon Gen 9 DLC. This is Silly Cobra. That's Sanda uh, Conda. Nice. Um, is that Crammer? That's Crammer. Aerocuda. Berascuda. That's Toxel. Toxtricity. Sizzlepeed. 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 There we go. A uh, Senta Scorch. That's a Clava Puss and Graplock. Graplock is like j top five Pokemon for me. So cool. That also has one of the coolest shinies. If you don't know what it is, it's um this. Actually, it just looks like a like a what what are the Mexican wrestlers called? The Luchador, like luch, luch like something Lucha Libre. Like the wrestler boxers, yeah, it looks like that. It looks super cool to me. Um, that's Sinisty. And Poltegeist, who ended up getting variations in Scarlet and Violet called. Po. Oh, what were they called? One of them is called Sinistra. And the other one was called Poltegeist. Yes, okay, nice. Um, Hatena. Hatrum, Hatterene, some of the best designs, in my opinion. Um, fairy Pokemon up until now, like the new additions to the fairy type, because what they did with fairy was they added it and they just made a lot of old Pokemon fairy types, like um, Clefairy, for example, and like I think Jigglypuff, right? But the newer ones, like the new additions to fairy, were just kind of meh, like Aromatee, Slurpuff, Mid. Um, Gen 7, did they even have any fairy types in Gen 7? Oh, well, I guess they didn't, what? But and then they, but then they added Hatterene, who was like my first 
Oh, this is a pretty cool uh, new fairy Pokemon. Oh, also Impidimp. Yeah, Impidimp, um, Morgrim, and Grimmsnarl. Yeah, these two lines, probably my one of my probably my two favorite fairy Pokemon to, to date. Um, this is Obstagoon. It's um, Perzerker, who weirdly became broken in Gen 9, because he ended up becoming a good raid boss. Uh, raid killer. Um, that's um, Kursula. Surfetched. Nice. Runa Rigus. Milsery. That's um, which evolves into Alcremie. Phalanx. That is a top five design for sure. Cool design, cute design, not to mention has a good shiny. Easily top five. Prin Pinsurgeon. Snum. Frostmoth. Uh, Stun Jorner. Who's kind of forgettable, but is weirdly strong. And um, that's Ice Q. Um, NDD. Um, what is that? That's a Morpeko. Um, that's Kufans and Copper Raja. Alright, these guys. So the fossils in Gen 8, all... So how, how they work is you have like four pieces and you can mix and match the pieces. And each piece has its own name. So when you combine uh, two of them, you end up getting different name combinations. So Draco Zolt. But then there's also a Draco Vish. And there's an Arctozolt. And an Arcto Vish. So yeah, if you ever want to memorize those four, that's a good way of memorizing. You gotta mix and match Draco, Arcto, Vish, and Zolt. And that's how you get their names. Um, I, it's not like I practice or anything, it's just kind of something I noticed <laughs> when playing so many Who's That Pokemons. Um, this is Dreepy, that's Drake Loak. That's Dragapult. Um, Spectrier, Glastrier, um, Zacian, Zamazenta, Eternatus. Who's that? Oh, that's, um, Kubfu. How do you spell this, though? Is it with a C? Oh, no, no, it's with a F U at the end. Yeah, Kubfu, Urshifu. And, uh, Zarud. Which was a random mythic Pokemon that they added at the very end. Uh, Reggie Aleki, Reggie Drago, and Calyrex. Alright, so that's Gen 8 done. We're an hour and two minutes in. We just have Hisui and Paldea left, and after this we're done. So I, I'm, I'm guessing like we'll be done by minute 15. I'd say um, Hisui's pretty small, we'll knock this out quickly. Um, we're here. That's, um, that's Cleavor. Basku Legion. Top five design. I actually fun fun fact about Basku Legion is that they have two um, forms based on male or female, but they actually have different stats. Um, Basku Legion, the male form, is by far better competitively because it has a higher attack stat. And um, actually, I think that's it. Yeah, yeah, it just has a higher attack stat, but. The female design is so much cooler to me. I love the... It feels so much more mystic. You know, the, the this one just looks... Ah, I'm angry. But this one looks more wise. Looks like something you'd see in, like, like a Final Fantasy game. Like, I don't know. Looks... Female 4 version is so much cooler. But unfortunately, there's, like, almost no incentive to use the female one over the male one. This is, um... Uh, Sneasler. Who is so much cooler than Weavile. I, I never liked Weavile very much. Oh, so I was really happy to see that um, there was a new form of um, Sneasel and, and no, no, also Sneasler. And he's, yeah, I, thought, I thought they were really great additions. Um, okay, Paldia. Let's try and finish this by minute minute 10. I think we can do it. Um, Sprigatito. Uh, Florigato. Fl Florigato. Meowscarada. Of uh, White Coco, Crot, Color, that's a Skeleturge, and this Dex. Um, I have a few. I have a few uh, things to say about this Dex. A lot of people. Are, a lot of people think that this Dex is really good. I, I and I, I definitely agree. Like this, this Dex is very good. Add a lot of. Well, how do you spell it? Quack, Quaball. There we go. Um, but I think there were a few disappointing ones. Like I, like Lechonk was cool. 
It was really cute to see LeChonk and all like the promo trailers and whatnot, but then it evolved into Oink Cologne. And then it's just like, what happened? It could have became like, I don't know, like a, maybe like a buff pig or something, but then it just became some like weird, like I can't even describe it, just like a weird pig. Um, same with a tarantula. I thought I was going to turn into something like really cool. The Splatops is cool. It just kind of looks like a middle stage. Like it needs to evolve one more time. Um, Nimble and Low Kicks are really cool though. I have no complaints about these guys. Um, oh, Pommy. I was like, I love this Pokemon. It was so cute. And I was thinking like, it's so cute. I wonder, I'm like really curious to see how it's going to evolve. But it just kind of doesn't. <laughs> it just kind of starts standing up and maybe gets a bit hairier and that's it. Um, was very disappointed with their evolutions. Uh, Tandem Mouse. Um, yeah, um, I'm so curious to see how um, Tandem Mouse is going to evolve. It's two separate entities that count as one Pokemon. How is it going to evolve? Oh, it's going to just add two more. <laughs> and like, at least with these guys, it makes sense that they don't they don't change much when they evolve because it's because it's like you know they're making a family, so that makes sense. There's no excuse for Pommy though. They could have gave it like an appropriate evolution, but he kind of just didn't. Um, what is this thing called? Um, Fido and Dash Bun. Dash Bun. There we go. Um, um, what is this thing? Oh, this is um, Smoliv, Dolliv, and Arbeliva. Actually, I really love these Pokemon. For like the Route 1 Grass Pokemon, way better than Oddish, way better than... Sun Current Blossom, whatever those guys. I I, I really like I like our believer. It's it also pretty strong. Like it's passive. The, the grassy terrain thing is really good. Um who's that? That's um that's a squawk. Uh Billy. Is there, is there a W in there? I know there's a W in there somewhere. Squawk of uh, Billy. I might have to look this one up. It has a weird spelling. Oh, it is a, oh I'm stupid. It's a U. That's why. Squawk. Uh, Billy. What? Oh, no, no. There's a W at the end. <laughs> there we go. Okay. My bad, guys. Um, that's, um, Knackley. Knackle stack. And Garganical. Some of the... Okay, I did say... Gigalith was my favorite, um, like, Route 1 rock Pokemon. I actually take that back. I think Knackley through Garganical is actually my favorite. So good. I love how, like, Minecrafty the na the middle one looks, and the Garganical is just, just like, a, this Giga Chad, super tall, golem-looking beast. And he's actually, like, competitively, like, strong. He's like a monster, uh, Garganical. He gets, um, Salt Cure... I know you can like stall with a cover, it's so good. And it's passive, that makes it take half damage to ghost types. So you can just make it have ghost terror, and it's like basically like a means to everything. That's a shark cadet. But yeah, Garganical is a top 10 design for sure. Uh, Sarah Ledge is also for sure a top 10 design. Amarouge is a bit less cooler, but I still think it's pretty cool. Like, literally, the only reason why I picked Violet over Scarlet was just to get Scar Sarah Ledge. Such cool design. Tadbulb. That's Bellable. Not Wantrel. And then Kilowattrel. I actually really like the, the wordplay on their names. Wantrel. Kilowattrel. If I don't get it, then I recommend you uh, pay attention more in your science class. Um, this is Mabostiff. Nice. This is a Shrudel. And I believe this is called Grafi-Tai? Grafi-I. There we go. Grafi-I. Um, Paul D. and Taurus we got... Um, what is that? No, oh, that's Bramblin. And evolves into Bramblegast. Right? Yep. Toad's cool. Toads, Cruel, some of the most hilarious additions to Pokemon. Honestly, it's just genius that they decided to just make Tentacool and Toads Cruel <laughs> landform animals. 
Um, what is this, though? That's a cloth. Love the shiny on cloth. Actually, even the, the base form is really cool. I, I love I love cloth. This is a capsicum. Rolls into skill villain. A lot of people hate this design. I actually kind of fuck with it. I love the, um... Well, first of all, it's our first ever grass fire Pokemon. Second of all, it's like... It's kind of like the Hydreigon situation. It's like multiple heads. And like, it's like an evil-esque Pokemon. I, 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 I like it. It's a cool design. Um... That's a Relor. And Ramska. Flittle. Espatro, who's low-key a menace in competitive play. It's not like that that good, like that that meta. It's not OU, but it has some pretty scary sets that you can run. That's um oh. The last one's Tink 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 Tough. Yes, okay. I actually really love that line. Um, for like, when it comes to like new fairy designs, Hatterene and Tinkaton were for sure the best by far. Tinkaton is arguably the best fairy Pokemon, period. Such a cool design. Uh, Wiglet and Wugtrio. I do not know what Hennessy Pokemon company was drinking when they made those designs, but we just gotta live with the, live with the fact that it exists now. Bombardier. Very forgettable Pokemon, but I know it. Palafin, Finizen, um, Uzvarum, and Revavroom. I also do not know what Hennessy Pokemon was drinking when they were making those designs, especially when uh, when it got to the boss battles and they started like attaching to cars and stuff. <laughs> it was just ridiculous. It's so sorry that you can't even play as those forms, you know. Like, the whole point of our room is that can attach to, like, other cars. Then, like, we should have had the the chance to do that. But we only get to play with base form River Room, and that's just boring. This is a Graveyard. Who evolves into Houndstone. Who immediately got sent straight to Ubers, because this Pokemon is broken. Flamigo. That's a Cetitan. Cetaddle. Oh, Veluza. And Veluza actually has a super sick shiny hot take. Veluza is actually a top 10 design. Okay, maybe top 10 is a bit much, but top 20 at least. Look at this guy. That's so sick. I don't know. So much cooler than Sharpedo to me. Not to mention he looks so tasty. I'd love to have some Veluza sushi any day. That's, um, Dundozo, broken Pokemon. Tatsugiri, also pretty broken Pokemon. Um, Annihilate who is so cool. For starters, they gave an addition, uh, an evolution to, um, how do you spell it? Adnai, uh, how do you spell this? I'm about to look this up. <laughs> Annihilate. Annihilate. Okay, got it. Annihilate. There we go. Yeah, for starters, they gave an evolution to Primeape who was already one of my favorite Pokemon, but then they made him like a ghost type. He's so angry that he like died. It's such a hilarious um, idea to me. Not to mention he has like one of the coolest moves, Rage Fist, where he becomes stronger if he gets hit more. So cool. King Gambit. Um, unfortunately, the shiny sucks. Um, shiny Mankey actually used to be pretty cool, where it's like a nice mint green, but when it evolves into Annihilate, it kind of just goes away. It turns into like a like a kind of a dark blue. They, they messed up with that one. They should have kept it like mint green. Um, who is this? This is a Great Tusk. And um, Iron Treads is the counterpart. Um, let me just think of all the ancient ones. Screamtail, Brute, Bonnet. Um, Slitherwing. And Fluttermane, who is still a competitive monster. Um, Sandy Shock. Okay, now moving on to the future ones, we got Iron Bundle, who I love. One, 10 out of 10 design. It's like a future Della Bird, but like the, the present is actually like a tank full of water and you can use like water moves and stuff. Such a cool concept. Um, Iron Hands, who's really good. Um, Iron Jugulus. Who's kind of who's kind of disappointing, 
because I love Hydreigon, so when I saw that it was getting a future form, I thought it was going to be so strong. But it's it's actually weaker than Hydreigon, so that was kind of a bummer. Um, who is that? Well, I know that one's Iron Thorns. This is Iron Moth. Frigibax. That's Arctibax. That's Baxcalibur, my favorite pseudo-Pokemon. A top 10 design for sure. That's, um... Gimme Ghoul. And Goldango. Okay, now, these, uh, Chinese guys. We got Chi Yu. Uh, Wo Qian. Xian Pao, who is the Leopard. And Ting Lu, who is the Moose. Okay, nice. And finally, Roaring Moon. Iron Valiant. Coridon. Coridon. Coridon? Coridon. Oh, one R. Okay. Coridon and Maridon. Okay. And to finish off the list, we got the Poly Expeditions, which is aka the DLC for Scar and Violet. Uh, Walking Wake. Iron Thorns. No, Iron Leaves. <laughs> the three, um, whatever they call the three menaces, the three troublemakers. We got Oki Dogi, Monkey Dory, and Fezen Dipity. There we go. Um, Ogre Pond. Okay, extremely hot take. Like, like probably the hottest take I'm gonna give all video. How do you spell this thing? First of all, this, first of all, the spelling is annoying. What is this? Ogre pun. Is it not Ogre pun? <sighs> why is it spelled like the word ogre is literally just spelled like this? Just add a pun to the end. Why the? Why does Pokemon do this? They always make spelling so complicated for no reason. Okay, anyway, hot take. I don't like the design very much. And now, I know there's going to be so many people angry at me for saying that. I just don't see it. I don't know. Like, I it's it's kind of weird that they went like this cutesy design to me. I, I was kind of hoping it would be like a cool, like, uh, rogue design. I don't know. Not like, I don't know. I don't know. It, it looks alright. I think it's just a lot of people think it's like one of the best designs of Gen 9. I personally don't see it. When it has the mask on, it is pretty cool though. I wish they gave it like actual arms maybe. It's, it's kind of weird to me that it doesn't have arms. It just kind of has like weird like wings or whatever, whatever those are. I don't know. It's an okay design. It's a 5 out of 10 design for me. Um, Arcalodon. Another hard take. This Pokemon looks weird. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen a side profile of Arcalodon. It looks like a freaking staple remover. Um, what's a good picture? Yeah, <laughs> look! It looks like a staple remover. No, not shopping. I can't. <laughs> it looks like this. <laughs> it looks like a staple remover, and then it ends up looking like a bridge, which I get is the actual, um... The actual goal that they're trying to make it look like a bridge instead of one single tower like Duraludon. It looks so goofy to me. I don't know. I mean, the front profile looks cool, but then you see it in game and it's like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> well, regardless, it's a competitive monster. It got it had to be immediately sent to Ubers. It is an Ubers, right? I don't play much um, Pokemon Showdown. I'm assuming it's an Ubers. It is, yeah. It was a little too broken of its um, signature ability or signature move. Um, this is a um, gouging fire. Another hot take. I don't like that design very much, but raging bolt, hilarious. Um, iron boulder also just kind of weird, but iron crown is pretty cool. I like iron crown much more. Um, okay, last two Pokemon is Terrapagos. If I can spell it, Terrapagos, and Petrarunt. Let's go. All right, so we got all the Pokemon, all 1,025 Pokemon in one minute, 18, or one hour, 18 minutes, and 58 seconds, uh, which is essentially just an hour and 20 minutes. Challenge yourself further by trying, by challenge yourself further, try naming them without shadows. I do not think I can do that. Like I mentioned, that would pretty much just be a pure memorization. I don't think I could do that. Um, I could only name all of them just because I could see the sprites and kind of like make out like what Pokemon it is. Um, 
Without that, I would not be able to complete this challenge. So yeah, if you want to try out this test for yourself, then come check out PokemonQuiz.com. It'll lead to this exact same website that I'm doing this on, and you can test yourself. Um, if you get a f uh, score faster than w one hour, 18 minutes, then let me know. 